Tourism has always been a major part of Florida's legacy, and St. Lucie County is very much a part of that tradition. But have you explored all that St. Lucie County has to offer? From professional sporting events to pristine waters and secluded environmental preserves, from marine education centers and museums to diverse cultural festivals, St. Lucie County has something for everyone. So join us as we vacation in our own backyard and send you postcards from home. Hello and welcome to Postcards from Home, a show that highlights St. Lucie County's natural and cultural treasures. I'm your host Eric Gill and each month we take a look at some of St. Lucie County's best known parks, museums and nature preserves, as well as highlighting some of its best kept secrets. Today we're going to be saddling up and hitting the trails at Frederick Douglass Beach to ride horses on Hutchison Island. Tours on Horseback offers a rare opportunity to ride horses on the beach every Sunday here at Frederick Douglass Beach starting at 10 a.m. In operation since 1994, Alan and Colleen Hayes take participants along the sandy shores of Hutchison Island for an hour-long ride covering roughly three miles of coastline. This unique attraction offers riders a chance to experience an undeveloped natural Florida coastline the same way that some of this area's early settlers and native people did hundreds of years ago. So let's go meet Colleen and Alan Hayes, owners of Tours on Horseback, who will tell us more about their operation. Well, welcome to Postcards from Home. I'm joined by Colleen Hayes here at Frederick Douglass Beach. And Colleen, you all have been riding uh, horse or offering horseback riding tours here at Frederick Douglass for 15 years now. Um, almost 17. Okay. Yeah. Since 1994. Wow. Okay. Now, how did you all get into this business? How did it come about? Um, well, back in 1994, I had a very good friend of mine who worked at the county, and. Um, he said to me one day, he goes, you know, you guys got a lot of horses, you got a lot of tack, you got the truck, the trailer. He said, how could we incorporate that into a county activity? And um, he said, you know, it would just, we've got a beach that you can ride horses on. It's been that way, you know, for as long as I can remember. And I was born here and so was my husband. And um, he said, let's see what we could put together. So we came up with the idea of taking tourists and um, just to have a tour, an echo tour is how it started, mm -hmm. um, and bring them over here to Frederick Douglass and go for a ride on the beach. So our very first maiden tour was the county commissioners. Okay. We took all of them on the beach to give them the idea to see if they liked it, and um, they were thrilled with it and had a great time and went with it 100%. And that was our first ride, and we've been doing it ever since. since. Well, I wish we had cameras back then, because I, I would have loved <laughs> yeah. to seen some of the commissioners on horseback. Yes, yes, <laughs> it was interesting, but they had a great time. And like I said, we've had people from all over the world now come. I'm sure, because this is one of the, I think there's only three places in Florida where you can ride horses on the beach? Um, Stan Augustine, I know, definitely has it there, and off and on other places in mm -hmm. Florida, but truthfully, um, St. Augustine is the only, you know, one that is has been doing it for a long, long time, time. Um, but um, other places try it and that, but haven't really kept up any kind of um, regular activity. So, uh, if you <clears throat> if you wanted to go in Florida, truthfully, those are the only two places that you would be definitely somewhere where you can make a reservation and be sure to get a ride. And I imagine the skill level varies. You've got people who've probably never been on a horse that come out here to to maybe people who are experienced riders. How, how, how do you handle those situations? <laughs> well, we definitely have all different kinds, that's for sure. Um, most of them, I would say, have never been on a horse mm -hmm. before, and which is perfectly fine. While our horses are gentle, they've been doing it for a long time, and we have a really good track record on that. And uh, that's a first time experience for them, but they have it on their bucket list. Some they have trips to Italy or France, and then horseback ride on the beach, you know? So they come over here and it's one thing they wanna do. And um, regardless of whether or not they've ever been on a horse or not, uh, that's no problem. Some of them are more experienced and have had horses in the past, but just can't afford them anymore or sure. live in the city, that kind of thing. And just wanna come back and experience riding again and ride on the beach. Yeah. Now, do you all offer lessons or, or rides anywhere else besides the beach, or is it strictly here at the beach? 
We do offer lessons at our own stables mm -hmm. and we can also do a wooded trail ride and they're expanding to um, other county parks okay. uh, west of town for maybe a, an extended ride. So that's something the county is looking into. Of course, um, most people do want to go on the beach, but, sure. but um, we're limited on the beach because we only have about three miles to ride. Yeah, but a place like Bluefield Ranch, which is way west mm -hmm. of town, that's you know several hundred acres and there's several miles of trails and there's overnight mm -hmm. camping, so that'd be a perfect opportunity. Perfect, it'd be a perfect opportunity to do yeah. things like that. And for those people who want the extended ride or overnight, um, or to incorporate a, a lunch or a dinner and and that it would be um, it's going to be a great deal. Sure and this park is even a great site for people that want to ride because you they've got picnic tables here you can bring your lunch go for a mm -hmm. ride and have lunch after go for a swim on the beach and well we have a, um, a lot of people that come and do birthday parties and okay. so um, the, all well, the kids go on idea. the ride and then come back and they have the pavilions here so that they can have the parties and there's restrooms and of course the beach um, uh, not only birthday parties, but um, lots of um, wedding proposals, <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know, yeah, engagement yeah. proposals. Uh, as a lot of guys come and want it. There's um, a private sunset ride they can do and propose to their girlfriend. And um, that it is probably happened. doesn't get more romantic than that, does it? I mean, uh, on horseback. Exactly. And on I the mean, beach. a lot of guys are <laughs> very romantic. They have have the whole thing set of what they want to do, and they ask us if we'll stop and they can get off the horse and get down on their oh. knees and the whole thing. And um, you know, and I get that on a regular basis. Really? Wow. Definitely on a regular basis, and we have. Um, you know, reunions and um, par corporate parties, parties and people from, um, like I said, all over the world. A lot of people from Germany and Switzerland and England and that kind of thing. Well, and I imagine there is a niche market for equestrian or eco and eco-based tourism. And, and even this park, if you have your own horse, you can come here. You can get a permit. You have to get a permit if you have your own horse and want to ride on the beach. So for those horse owners, they can call the tourism mm -hmm. office mm -hmm. to come here and ride as well. Well, for years, that's basically what it was. Of course, prior to us starting in 1994, we still always, uh, St. Lucie County always allowed people to buy a permit and bring their own horse on the beach. And uh, so a lot of 4-H groups and things like that. But we are finding that because a lot of people who bring their own horse, they only get to the dune and they can't get any further <laughs> because horses are not used to the waves crashing up on the beach and um, you know they just get to the dune and they look over and they're like no I'm not going so um, they turn around and come back and then they fight with them all day trying to get them down along the water. Sure I was gonna ask that too that what are the challenges of riding on a beach compared to riding on a regular trail is the sand make any difference or is it just the sand waves? Sand does make a difference um, when it's deep sand if it's hard down along the water, then it's fine for them. But um, we do have a few restrictions on the riding because of the fact that it is deep sand. And, um, you know, we try to stay off the dunes, especially during sure. turtle season. We're not allowed to ride up there. And um, we stay down along the hard pack sand. But it, it's good for the horses in a lot of ways because it's good for their feet with the salt water and the sand and that kind of thing. But it also is hard on them when it's deep to walk in. Mm -hmm. um, but um, it's definitely an enjoyable ride. Once you get down there oh, and you sure. can walk along the water when it's low tide, it's really beautiful. When it's high tide, it's a little bit different of a ride, but a lot of times the tourists absolutely love it because they've got these waves crashing on the horses. Oh wow. Yeah. Do they get pretty deep we out? We don't or? go yeah. out very far yeah. just because a lot of, of this area, there is a drop off sometimes. Sure. And um, you know we're not sure about the ocean floor at different uh, you know times of the day or whatever and during the month. Or, we don't run the horses as well. Okay. It's a yeah. walk trot. Okay. And um, about three mile ride. Okay. So. And I think the age restrictions you have to be at least ten, depending on who you ask. Some people might mm -hmm. think I'm old enough, but some people may disagree. But hopefully I'll I'll, old, I'll pass for the ten yeah, years I'm old. Yeah, sure. insurance doesn't cover them younger than that, and we feel like ten is a uh, good age where a, there are a, a lot of kids that are more experienced mm -hmm. and can handle it. But we try to 
you know, stay with that. I'm a little flexible, but our insurance keeps sure. us at that age. Well, I mean, even at the height wise, you know, these aren't ponies, these are full blown horses. So you're pretty high off the ground for a 10 year old, even for an adult. So, uh, you know. Well, fortunately you've got soft sand underneath That's... you if you were to go off. But uh, in the 17 years we've been doing it, I've very few people have ever come off and if they did it was only because they weren't paying attention, attention and they just slid off or something. Our horses are gentle enough as a pony and sometimes ponies aren't even as gentle as our horses that we use for the kids. So they don't have to worry, they can be more than comfortable to come and go on it. Great. We get a lot of senior citizens as well. Okay, great. Now what should people be prepared to when, when they come? I mean I imagine it's a you know vacationers they probably sometimes show up in flip flops and tank tops is that acceptable or because I didn't bring riding boots but I, you know I, well, I did wear jeans. Most people don't have them and this is a little different ride. It's not a western trail ride where um, you have to wear the long pants and, and boots and the whole nine yards. Um, this is more of a tropical setting and as we do it all year long, especially you know in the summer and people are vacationing here so they don't have it. Um, I do let them know that tennis shoes are better than flip-flops only because the flip-flops come Fall off, off. <laughs> and then we have to stop and pick up their flip-flops and sure. put them back on that. But if that's all they have, they can come and go on it. 90% uh, sure. of the people that come and go on our rides wear shorts and sandals and or a bathing suit and whatever they want. That's <laughs> perfectly fine because we are on the beach. You just have to wear some type of clothes, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, what are the costs to go out on these tours? It's, um, we, when we first started it, it was $30 and that was in 1994 wow. and today it's $35. So it's not much inflation at all. So, well, we've tried to keep it reasonable for a family to be able to go. Sure. And if you have three, four, five people in your family, it does get costly. Um, Disney World, you know, is so expensive for a family to go to because at $100 a piece or whatever it is, um, you That's know, just you for can, lunch. Yeah, <laughs> it's, you can't um, actually take your whole family on it. So we've tried to keep it affordable for the whole family. And um, it's $35 for an hour ride. And it doesn't seem like long for an hour, but trust me, when you go down there on the beach an hour, by the time you get back, some of them are like, oh my gosh, I can't get off. You yeah, know? Yeah. They didn't realize it was gonna be that, you know, that was gonna seem like that long, sure. but it is. And it's, it's um, a very enjoyable hour. Absolutely. Now, how can people find out more about, you run every Sunday and there's several times throughout the day, but how can people call and make reservations or find out more about your rides? My website is www.beachtoursonhorseback.com and um, we're on Facebook and Twitter. And you can also, there's a link on the county website to my website and vice versa. And there's um, uh, quite a few other websites that are linking to mine as well. We're trying to get it the word out. It's like we've been doing it for 17 years and still to this day I can go somewhere in Fort Pierce and somebody will say I had no idea you're doing the horseback rides on the beach. And so um, we are getting the word out and um, also uh, there is um, uh, brochures which we put out um, all over to the hotels and a lot of the hotels have them in there where the, most of their guests do call or their concierge calls to book the ride. How big usually is a group when you go out? We take about six at a time. Uh, it's a smaller, it's, it seems like a small group, but, but six people that have never rode before, you know, is a, is a group that we feel like that we, you know, we can take care of. Sure. If you expand it too large and you had like 10 or 20 people, like, you know, it's just a, hot, a lot sure. to maintain. And when you have kids and stuff, so we keep them as small groups. They're able to ride together. It's not like a head to tail ride mm -hmm. um, because it's a big open beach. So they're able to ride in groups or couples and, and you know, go together and uh, we just kind of let them enjoy it themselves. We okay. just have the guide out in front and one behind. Well, Colleen, I think the horses behind us are getting restless. Is there anything that we forgot to mention before we wrap up the show? Because I'd like to, like to, if you guys got time, like to try to saddle up. Oh, absolutely. We're dying to take you on the ride. And um, I, you can ask my husband if he has anything he can add to it. He usually, I usually do all the scheduling. And for the first five, well, actually 10 years, 
Um, my husband and I did it only ourselves. Wow. Never ever anyone else, just the two of us. We've added a few um, employees that are dedicated employees, been with us a while. And um, I now do mostly all the reservations and my husband does the ride. Great. Well, I'm sure my cameramen are ready for me to try to get up on top of one of these horses here. So uh, don't go anywhere. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to meet Alan Hayes and go for a ride on the beach.